Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nate Greenwood, physical therapist with Fit and Muscle and Joint Clinic, and we're working in conjunction with AG30 Goalkeeping to bring you guys a variety of videos to maximize your performance, um, your training, your recovery, and even help reduce the likelihood that you guys will sustain an injury while you're playing. So today we're going to kind of go over um, as briefly as we can just some nutritional concepts um, and information that will help you maximize your performance, um, achieve you know the body composition that you need for your specific sports, um, as well as your recovery and just your overall health. Because um, we need to, when, you know, when we're talking about nutrition, we need to get to the point where we are thinking you know, optimal health is going to lead to also optimal performance. Um, we don't want to be going through measures and nutrition uh, guidelines, diets, things like that, restriction that's going to negatively impact our health because that is also down the road going to negatively impact your performance and your recovery. So those things are kind of going to go hand in hand. So what I have here today is just a, kind of a few points I'm going to lead you guys through so you have a little bit of a visual aid um, that way so that it's a little bit more interesting. Hopefully it's not just me droning on. So we're going to right into it. Uh, food intake. Number one, you guys need to eat enough calories. Okay. So low, low calorie diets are going to ruin your athletic performance, ruin your ability to recover. Um, you know, a lot of people are just so obsessed about looking lean, um, being toned, things like that, looking fit. And I can guarantee you guys that if you get your diets optimized, you're, you're hitting the calorie goals you need to, getting the protein in that you need to, which is what we'll talk about, then the body composition changes, you know, they will be there too with the athletic performance but you don't wanna be sacrificing those things um, just, for, just for looks. This is about performance, recovery, right? Being the best you can in your field, staying healthy. So you need to be eating enough calories. Um, eating enough, uh, it's gonna equal, you're gonna perform better, right? Kind of going to the next one here. We wanna emphasize nutrient dense foods, okay? So the quality of the food matters. You know, we're, we're not gonna just try to be eating ho-hos and different things like that in candy bars. Although, again, sometimes to eat your calorie goals, you know, it's a lot higher than a lot of people think. Um, so I found the 80-20 rule to be helpful with that. And that's just very simply the concept of if about 80% of the time you're eating the things that you need to be focusing, excuse me, focusing on, the other 20% of the time you can kind of get away with eating maybe more quote unquote fun foods. Um, you know, so like ice cream or a little treat or something like that. Um, so you need to be eating fruits and vegetables in your diet daily. It'll get you nutrients, micronutrients, um, fiber, and a good, good quality source of carbohydrates. Um, and if you're not intolerant to dairy, it is still recommended ACSM and other, um, other dietary guidelines, including some nutrition journals that I pulled a lot of this information from, to, re to eat two to three servings of dairy a day because they're a good source of calcium, um, other minerals that we need, high quality level of protein that we need, which brings us to macronutrients. So we'll start right off with protein. So again, ACMS, ACSM guidelines, they recommend 0.7 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So that's a lot higher than most people think it probably is, but studies have shown over and over again to maintain a positive protein balance in your system, which means that you're gonna be putting your nutrients, your food toward building muscle, repairing muscle, optimizing performance. You need to hit numbers in those ranges. So the real simple equation of that would be an example of a 163 pound person, myself, multiply by those numbers there. So I'm looking for a range each day of 114 to 163 grams of protein every day. Um, you wanna try to get those doses and 20 to 30 gram amounts at your main meal. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, it'll help with muscle soreness, recovery, things like that. You wanna try to have protein with every single meal, right? Carbs, you guys need to be having carbs. They need to be a huge staple component of your diet. We're not gonna be doing silly no carb, low carb diets here. That is gonna tank your performance. It's gonna make you feel terrible, recover terrible. Um, if you're more fatigued, which low carb diets can, can predispose you to if you're a high performing athlete, then it actually increases your risk of injury. So we wanna make sure that we're eating enough. Very simply put, usually 40, 50% of your total calories per day. Going on to uh, fat. So fats are essential for proper hormone production, 
um, a multi multitude of other health factors that our bodies need and processes that our bodies do every day. General, just good rule of thumb recommendations, anywhere from 20 to 30% of your total calories, you want that to come from. Um, that usually looks like anywhere from maybe 10, 15, 20 grams of fat per meal that you have, um, including the snacks that you have during the day. And then kind of going back to that concept, you guys want to be having your three main meals a day so you're not skipping breakfast. You need to fuel your body. You need to think of your, your food as your fuel, your fuel, right? Um, it's, it's, it, you want to enjoy it. You want to pick things that you enjoy eating that are hitting these guidelines, but you also need to think of that as you're fueling your body, you're fueling your, your sport, your performance, your recovery, especially if you really want to take your performance and your recovery um, and your athletic career seriously. So... Um, you want to try to avoid eating a lot of fat um, immediately around games, practices, um, training. It's going to slow your digestion. Sometimes it can make things feel like it's kind of sitting in your gut, make you feel full, bloated. Um, we don't want that. But again, otherwise, meals, snacks outside of those times, you want to try to get some healthy fats in there with it. A um, good idea to include two, three snacks on top of your main meals. That will help you hit protein um, and calorie goals for your day. You know, if you're eating twice a day, um, it's not, that's not ideal. Not ideal for digestion, not ideal for nutrient intake and hitting those goals that we're talking about for calories, protein numbers. Nutrient timing, um, it's generally recommended in most literature to hit 20 to 30 gram dose of high quality protein um, within a, one to two hours around your training session. Could be before, could be after. You know, you're not going to quote unquote lose your gains um, if you don't get your your protein in after your training sessions, but it does help you maintain a positive protein balance, which will help you preserve and even improve the amount of muscle mass in your body, fuel your recovery, again, get you ready for another intense session the next day. Um, again, we've already talked about keeping fats lower around uh, your training sessions. You wanna keep carbs higher around your training sessions and gains. Um, so, you know, you might even bias carbs a little bit more before you play and after you play to help with recovery. And then just want to touch base on hydration here just briefly. Um, ACSM recommends again that you take in about five to seven milliliters of water uh, per kilogram of body weight four hours before training or your athletic uh, performance training game. So again, go back to that example of 163 pound male, that's 74 kilograms um, times those five to seven milliliters per kilogram of body weight essentially comes down to one and a half cups to two cups um, of water four hours before. You wanna get that in your system beforehand. If you're already thirsty or dehydrated, right? You guys have probably heard that. So you want that in your body beforehand so that your body has a chance to absorb that and you're not running around feeling bloated, belly sloshing around when you're trying to sprint, run, cut, lift weights, do things like that. So you need to take your hydration seriously before the event and then make sure you keep on that um, throughout the day, getting water in. So again, those are just kind of some brief guidelines that we wanted to go over today um, as far as nutrition aspects. Um, there may be a further expansion on sleep, um, even supplements a little bit, depending on what other things you guys might be interested in that we could talk briefly about in future series. But again, thanks for, uh, thanks for listening, guys. Um, hopefully this information is useful for you. If you need any uh, help with this or maybe further guidelines, I do highly recommend that my patients, my athletes, um, consult a registered dietitian because again, that is their realm of expertise uh, as far as this is. But again, we can use ACSM guidelines, we can use scientific literature, journal studies and nutrition journals to help inform um, our recovery, our performance, our, um, our patients, our athletes like you guys, so that you can play the best of your abilities, feel good doing it, stay healthy, stay injury free, um, and then just keep doing the things you love. So thanks guys, stay tuned for more.